Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. I hope everybody is doing okay tonight. Today we start our unit number four. Congratulations, yeah. you're doing a really good job here. Yes. When, really when finish, when finish it, the number the 24th, four. The 24th. When, 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 when did you finish? February the 24th. Mm -hmm. February the 24th. Friday. Yes. La encuesta. Bueno. Hello, Mauricio. The test. When? Ah, uh, you should start. Okay. You should start uh, filling it out. All right. Usted ya puede empezar a llenarlo. Acuérdense que estamos viendo este módulo es prácticamente un repaso, ¿verdad? De todos los seis, los cinco módulos atrás. Entonces, ahorita estamos reafirmando conocimiento. El, el examen tiene cuatro partes también. Entonces, hay algunos temas que ya más o menos los maneja. Se puede ir a probar ya, ¿verdad? A ver si ya los puede ir... Eh, confirmando usted ahí, ¿verdad? Llenando todo y no hay ningún problema si usted trabaja por adelantado, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Pero sí, tiene que estar, su hello, good evening, Wendy, tiene que estar subido a más tardar el viernes después de la clase, ¿verdad? Pero lo mejor es que el jueves ya esté listo, ¿verdad? Eh, yo tengo el 100%, yo me preguntaba oh, sí, este, sí, la sí. evaluación del curso. Ah, uh, Examen de parte mía, dice usted. Exactamente. Ah, ok. Bueno, Oye, yo todo... ¿Cuándo nosotros la vamos a hablar a usted? Ah, no, no, es así. Esa sí es la Satisfaction Survey. Satisfaction Survey va a ser el viernes. Ok. Viernes, ok. El viernes 24. Ese día nadie debe de faltar, por favor, jóvenes. Hagan okay. lo posible y lo imposible para estar acá porque ese día mandamos la evidencia toda junta y si no la mandamos toda junta genera problemas para ustedes, ¿verdad? Porque el asunto es que después no les dan por aprobado el curso y ahí es donde se genera, ¿verdad? La situación. Así que todos, por favor, okay. gracias Mauricio por recordar. Eh, sí, la encuesta de satisfacción va a ser este viernes, ¿verdad? No tenemos hora exacta todavía, pero eh, normalmente anda por las ocho y media, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Normalmente. Puede ser entre ese lapso, ¿verdad? Ocho y media, nueve, para que todos participemos en la evaluación del curso. Bien. Uh -huh. eh, si ustedes reciben el link, aunque ya están bastante avanzados, ya han hecho varias veces el... El proceso, yo les sugiero que por favor y les pido que esperen hasta el día viernes para que lo hagamos juntos y vayan todas juntas las evidencias, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok, people, let's start then our class for today. How do you feel today? From one to ten, Mauricio, how do you feel today? I am fine. Very, fine? very good. From one yeah. to ten? Yeah. Ten. Ten. All right. Very good. Uh-huh. Um, yes. Nice. Okay. You're my team. You're my team. A ver, Emerson. From one to ten, how do you feel today? Hi, Miss. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I feel um, 100 percent A hundred, yes. There you go. And imagine today is Monday. I thought some of you were going to say, well, it's Monday, teacher, but all right. I like this. I really like this. Yeah. This, I, uh, It really excites me, this, all right? A ver, vamos a ver. Jose Bernardo, how are you doing tonight from 1 to 10? How would you say? Good evening, teacher. Uh, Hi. Uh, Ten, yes. Pablo Alberto, how do you feel tonight? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Hi. I feel good. 
Nice. From one to ten, how would you? Uh, uh huh. Nice. Nine. Nine. Oh, all right. Nine. I'm sorry. I nine. didn't hear you very well, but yeah, nine. All right. You are in a very good range. All right. Norma Patricia, from one to ten, how do you feel tonight? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hi. All right. Can you, you say a number? Um, 100%. Yes. There you go. More than 10. Great. It's Monday. It's Monday. Yeah, it is. It <laughs> is. Yes. All right, people. So I hope everybody is okay tonight. Remember that tonight we are starting our new unit and it's the last one. Yes. 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 Aren't you excited? A ver, están emocionados de que es el final ya? La recta final. Yay. All right. Aren't you excited? Ahorita ya vamos a volar, ¿verdad? Now we are going to fly. So everybody, please, let's start by doing our usual feedback. What were we studying on unit three? Do you remember? Who remembers? Hey. Procedure, uh, research, human, human research. Yes, correct. So we were studying human resources procedures, human resources procedures. And what are the more common procedures they have? Can you name some procedures or activities they are in charge of? O actividades de las que ellos se encargan. Vamos a ver. Sí. Ajá. Vale, usemos ING, vale. Usemos ING forms. Ajá. Hiring. Hiring, yes. Ajá. Compañeritos, compañeritos. Llamando al planeta Tierra. <ríe> ajá, ajá. A ver, Houston, Houston. We've got a problem here. <ríe> okay, there you go. Making rules. Yes, ajá, exactly. Making rules, ajá. Yes, they make the manuals, they establish the po uh -huh. the policies, right? Mm -hmm. How to act um, before anything happens, right? Yes, the management of issues and situations and problems in the company and disciplined actions, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Promoting people, right? Developing people. Yes, the new talent, they are in charge of the trainings, right? They are in charge of doing trainings, organizing trainings and proposing trainings, right? They are the ones in charge of people, staff, right? Workforce, remember those words? Mm -hmm. hey, pero solo la teacher los está diciendo, así no se vale. Yo quiero oírlos de parte de ustedes. Ahorita todos, sí, teacher. Sí, sí, es cierto, teacher. Yes, that's true. No, pero yo quiero oírlos de ustedes y yo les voy a decir, yes, correct, it's true, all right. Cambiemos el papel aquí, ¿verdad? Ustedes me dicen qué fue lo que vimos, así como todo lo que dije yo ahorita. Vamos a ver. Everybody, moving, moving. ¿Mm? Empecemos con uno. No se amontonen, por favor. No, no. No, hombre, ustedes han venido bien calladitos ni porque es lunes, muchachos. No, no. A ver, levantemos el ánimo. Ok, bien. Vamos a pasar entonces. Voy a pasar entonces a, a ver, aquí. A introducir la nueva unidad. All right, the new unit. We're going to introduce the new unit and we want to see the objectives. Why do we have to study what we have to study, right? So we're going to start by 
saying, one second, those are not. Our unit number four is trainings, okay? Trainings, this is a part of the activities of HR, okay? And they have procedures for, for trainings. They have these kind of processes, right? There are different trainings. There are different kind of trainings, right? So we are going to study trainings in this unit. First of all, we want to learn how to exchange questions and answers about meetings, trainings, or other work-related events using the past of B. Not only the past of B, but the simple past tense because we combine both, right? When we talk, we usually don't talk in one tense. Usualmente no hablamos en un solo tiempo verbal, ¿verdad? Sino que cuando estamos platicando hacemos preguntas de ¿y cuándo fue? ¿y cómo es? ¿y por qué esto? ¿verdad? En presente, en pasado, usamos el pasado del B, right? So we have to combine all this and we have to mix... Mm, this in context, and the context we are using is the trainings, past events, past situations, all right? Then we are going to try to learn how to evaluate meetings, information, products, services, and trainings, all right? We want to learn to evaluate, or at least we are going to practice to do it, right? Practice evaluating, right? We're gonna say if it was good, if it was mm, boring, if it was bad, we're going to give like mm, this um, kind of survey filling out, right? <laughs> These kind of answers, right? Ask an answer. We're going to make questions and provide answers. What are we going to use? Ah, the simple past tense, right? The simple past tense. And the simple past tense has both. All the verbs that aren't the to be verb and also the to be verb, right? In the past tense. So was, where, and did, didn't, all right? Then we're going to write an email recommending a workshop or training using the simple past, all right? Maybe something was wrong, maybe the process was not correct, or maybe there is a new product, there is an innovation in the market, we don't know. So we can face any kind of situations that are going to force us to ask for a training. And sometimes we have we have opportunities in the company. Maybe they give sponsored um, a, a, this kind of learning processes or courses. Uh, we could say certifications or certificates and you don't pay anything. The company pays, right? So I'm going to write an email asking for that, all right? Asking for um, improvement, yes. Um, talent development, all right? There you go. So these are the objectives for this unit. What is the unit? Unit four. What is the topic for this unit? Trainings, all right. Now, the first thing we are going to see, chan, 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 simple past, yes, no questions, all right? Simple past, yes, no questions. We know this, but we want to practice it in the context of trainings, all right? Then, our class objective. Mm -hmm. What is our objective for tonight? Mm -hmm. We, or you, are going to be able to exchange questions and answers about meetings, trainings, or all the work-related events using the simple pass of B. And also the simple past tense. It's not only the simple past of B. All right, we are going to go to page 41. That's our page for tonight. All right, this is your video conference number 16. So our agenda. Our agenda is easy tonight. We have our feedback. We have already had it. And then the warm-up discussion. We're going to ask some questions like this one. Uh, we're going to talk about some vocabulary that you have to manage, right? 
about events at the workplace, then we want to role play a conversation where we are using this vocabulary. In the breakout rooms, we are going to do the pair work right after the conversation, all right? Today's session, uh, session one-on-one -on -one turn is for Marina Yancy Sandoval Bonilla. Marina Yancy, are you there yet? A ver, ya tenemos a Marina Yancy conectada para ver si quiere quedarse el día de hoy después de la sesión. All right, very good. Okay, people, hablemos un poquito antes de entrar del todo con el contenido acerca de las tareas. Miren, ya estamos en la última semana. Todas las tareas ya deben de ir finalizando, ¿ok? Ustedes trabajen en así en adelantado. No hay ningún problema si ustedes se adelantan. Es más, felicito a los que lo han hecho. Está Mauricio, está Nelly, está, creo que, no sé si me equivoco, era Emerson. Bueno, eh, alguien había ya finalizado también. Tenía como cuatro que ya han finalizado. Los felicito. Y los que no, también los felicito a los que van al día. ¿okay? Los que van clase con clase subiendo su actividad. Es excelente práctica. ¿okay? Eso los va a llevar al éxito en este curso. Y en todos los cursos de este programa, ¿verdad? Eh, la otra cosa, tenemos el examen final, que son cuatro partes. Ustedes ya pueden ir avanzando en eso. Hemos tocado varios temas ya. Y muchos temas ya los conocen. Tal vez no los manejan del todo, pero ya los conocen. Entonces, pueden irse probando ahí, ¿verdad? Para finalizar. Eh, entonces... La última cosa, y encarecidamente se los pido, es que no vayan a faltar toda esta semana, ¿ok? No vayan a faltar toda esta semana. Y les pido de que participemos, ¿ok? Participemos, encendamos nuestra cámara, metámonos de lleno, veamos los videos que no hemos visto, por favor, para que cuando salgamos del módulo 6, nos salgamos con de eficiencia, ¿verdad? Lo pasamos, pero ya llegando al intermedio vamos a sentir que llevamos una gran carga, una gran cruz, ¿verdad? Entonces, no. No se trata de sacrificarnos a morir, sino que se trata de disfrutarlo, ¿verdad? Se trata de disfrutarlo. Esto no es para estrés, esto es para botar el estrés, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos para botar el estrés, no para ponerles más cargas, ¿ok? Cualquier cosa, su teacher está a la orden en el WhatsApp. Su teacher está a la orden siempre para contestarles dudas, preguntas. Si me tardo un poquito, ténganme paciencita, pero lo voy a contestar, ¿ok? Y cualquier cosa, si algún compañero, así como vi en, en varias ocasiones, algunos compañeros proveen información, ayudan a los demás, los felicito, es perfecto, ¿verdad? Para que todos vayamos... Eh, llegando al nivel, ¿verdad? Y cumpliendo los objetivos. Bien. Hasta este momento, ¿hay alguna pregunta acerca de lo administrativo? Acerca de cómo vamos, que ya vamos a terminar este viernes. ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No. Entonces, quiero ver sus caritas bien lindas. A ver. Todos sonrientes. Please smiley faces. Yay. All right. There you are. Very good. Thank you. I appreciate this. All right. Let's jump right into the topic. All right. So this is just to warm up. All right. How often do you attend a training? How often do you attend a training? How often do you attend a training? Vamos a ver algunas ejemplos de respuestas, okay? Let's read these answers for this question. And after reading, you are going to give your own answer, all right? The first one, I attend trainings every month. Easy, right? I attend trainings when there are changes in the processes or in the work tools. I attend trainings when they detect a problem in the production process. 
Hmm. I attend a training every time there is an innovation in the market. Okay. We always attend selected and scheduled trainings by the company for the area they have promoted new stuff. Ah, okay. I attend trainings when the company offers sponsored education and learning courses, courses in different specialized areas. Okay. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. Después vamos, vayan pensando en su propia respuesta, pero hagamos esta pequeña práctica. Vamos a ver. Eh, Norma, escoja algún compañero y le hace esta pregunta. Y su compañero va a responder en orden, ¿ok? Vamos a ir en orden, ¿sí? Nos acabamos las respuestas, volvemos, ¿ok? Vamos. Ok. Um... Eh, Cristina, ah no, perdón, perdón, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello. How often do you attend a training? Así en mm. orden, Claudia. En orden lo vamos a ir leyendo. Este es solo práctica, ¿ok? I attend training every month. Okay, now you please, Claudia, ask another classmate. The same? Yes. How often do you, do you attend a training? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Eduardo Franco. How often do you attend a training? I attend a training uh, when there are changes in the process or in the walk tour. Right, now you, Eduardo, please ask another classmate. Okay, uh, Mauricio Velasquez. Okay. How often do you attend in the training? I attend, the, I attend training when they defect a preparation process. Continue, please, Mauricio, asking the question to someone uh, else. Bernardo, how often do you attend a training? I attend trainings when they detect a problem in the production process. Continue, mm. say Bernardo. Wendy, how often do you attend a training? Wednesday? Hello. Mm -hmm. Here. Yes, yes, I think. Okay, Wendy, just read this. Léame esto. We always, esta, we yes. always attend select scheduled training by the company for the area they high promise new stuff. Very good. Now you, Wendy, ask this question to another classmate. Yes, teacher. I have training. No, um, no. Wendy, you have to ask the question. Usted hace la pregunta. Ah, mm -hmm. sorry. I think a training I work. Uh, Wendy, así mire, how often do you attend a training? Ah, how often? Mm -hmm. Do you attend a training? Do you uh, do a training? Ajá, ¿a quién se la va a preguntar? Mm, que no lo veo. <laughs> um, usted, a Norma. Ok, Norma. Ok, usted, usted vuelva a preguntarle, Wendy, esta pregunta, mire. How often? How often? Mm -hmm. do, do you, you attend do you a, train, a training? A training. Va, dígalo usted solita, Wendy. How often do you do a training? Attend a training. Attend a training. Mm -hmm. Okay, Norma. Okay. You read the I, next one. I attend training trainings when the company offer sponsored education and learning courses 
in different specialist areas. Okay, specialized, specialized, specialized areas. areas. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue. Vamos a ver quién nos falta. Levanten la mano, jóvenes. A ver, Darío. no se me escondan. Darío, ok. Me voy a va. preguntar a Darío. Va, please. Ah, ahí está Karen How también. Ok, how often do you attend a training, Darío? The first answer. I attend trainings every month. All right, Karen, thank you. Very good. Uh -huh. Darío está por ahí, Darío. Vladimir, ¿están por ahí? Jóvenes, los necesitamos por acá para que practiquemos, ¿ok? Va, vamos a seguir entonces. Nos falta Nelly. A ver, ¿quién le pregunta a Nelly? Emerson, pregúntemele a Nelly. Hello, Nelly. How often do you attend the training? I attend trainings when there are changes in the processes or in the work tools. All right, very good. Now, Nelly, usted pregúntele a Karen. Karen, how often do you attend a training? I attend trainings when they detect a problem in the production process. Thank you. Ahora, Karen, pregúntele a algún compañero. Ask any classmate. Um... Uh, quiero ver, quiero ver. Mauricio. O Pablo. All right. Hello. Okay. Okay. How often do you attend a training? I attend a training every time there is an innovation in the market. Thank you. Now, Pablo, please ask to somebody else. Uh, Perdón, perdón. Make the question to anyone okay. else. Ok, mm -hmm. permítame. Um, Imelda. Imelda, are you there? Miss Imelda? Maybe, she, maybe she's on her way home, right? Marina. Okay, Marina? Are you there, Marina? Hi. Okay. Hi. How often do you attend a training? We always attend set it and show it training by the company. For the area, the, they had some of their new stuff. Thank you very much. And now the last. Please, Marina, ask to somebody else. Um, este, Cecilia? Cecilia, are you there? Daisy. Daisy, are you there? I think they are there, but they are just as a listener. Okay, let's try to ask another classmate, all right? Uh -huh. Luis, Luis, yes, but Luis, please. Is he there? No, mm. he's not no, there. He's not por, there. Por cual? Por cual? The last. The cual? last. Ah, la, la, the last. Uh -huh. Bye. Pregúntele, Bye. Entonces, Pregúntele entonces, Marina. How often How do often you send? I attend trainings when the company offers sponsored education and learning courses in different specialized are areas. All right, a specialized. Right. Specialized. 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 Yes, sir. All right, now guys, 
This is the question for you. How often do you attend a training? How often do you attend a training? Think about your answer. 30 seconds. All right, let's start with, okay, voy a decir five names. Pablo, Karen, Emerson, Wendy, Eduardo. ¿Qué ve? Me falta uno, Nelly. All right, bye. Ustedes van a dar una opinión o una respuesta, all right? How often do you attend a training? I attend a training every six months. All right. ¿Eso es, eh, es real en su, en su caso? Yes. All right. Very good. Now, Karen. Um, every three months, I attend training. Okay. Okay. Now, please continue, Emerson. We usually meet when it's necessary to introduce a new procedure. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, Eduardo. I never have attended a training. Never? Never. Hey, we envy you. <laughs> <laughs> not, not exactly envy you, but okay. Uh huh. How come? How come? Um, it's the same process day after day. ¿Tiene el mismo proceso día tras día? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't remember the, the last attendant training uh, was the three year science, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but I just, uh, this is just for cur cur curiosity, right? <laughs> okay, because I'm curious. Um, but do you have any other kind of workshops? ¿Tienen alguna otra actividad para aprender algo nuevo? Eduardo? Uh, no, uh, my, it's, my, my word is, is for team. Oh, okay. All right. That is why, right? Okay. Thank you very much, Eduardo. Now, the last one was Nelly, if I don't remember wrong, right? If I'm not wrong? I attend trainings when the company offers sponsored education and learning courses in different specialized areas. Oh, all right. Very good. Usually when they have certifications and companies, for example, safety measurements or um you have to get a new certification to use any kind of hazardous materials, or I don't know, maybe you need to have a certification to manipulate some kind of tool or machines, right? You need these certifications and usually they are sponsored. Ellos lo pagan, right? Uh, that's when we have to um take advantage of that opportunity right all right yeah. nelly good mm -hmm. okay people let's look at the next question what was the last training you attended about what was the last training you attended about veamos las respuestas and let's take some examples all right it was about a new process to assist clients it was about remote work. It was about a new designing software. It was about the mobile app improvements for the customers. It was about human resources new hiring process. It was about first aids and safety. It was about the COVID-19 safety measurements. What was the last training you attended about? Jose Bernardo? The last training. 
Yes. When? No, what was it about? <laughs> I was for uh, we had a new procedure in the process. Uh, can, can you repeat the action? What did you do with that procedure? We we add a new. Oh, you added. All right, added. Mm -hmm. Added. We added All a right. new procedure. Procedure. Very good. Very good. Okay. A ver. Ahora usted pregúnteme a un compañero. What was the last training you attended about? As, ahorita ya solo vamos con nuestra propia información, ¿ok? Aquí tenemos okay. los ejemplos, pero vamos a dar nuestra propia información. All right, let's start. Emerson, what was the last training you attended about? It was about uh, a new client for the factories products. Hey, good. Good. Mm -hmm. They likes their mm, standards. I think so, right? Okay, knowing the new client, getting to know the new client. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Now you ask another classmate, Emerson. Okay. Good evening, Melly. Hi, um, it was about creating um, a strategic plan for the development of tourist sustain, tourism sustainable. Mm -hmm. Again, 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 sustainable, uh, sustainable, uh -huh. sustainable tourism. Tourism, okay, tourism, okay, sustainable tourism, all right, like this. Sustainable tourism. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, sustainable, I'm sorry, sustainable, like this. Sustainable tourism. I see? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Now you ask another classmate, please. Mm -hmm. uh, Norma, what was the last training you attended about? Uh, the training for the decline, the attend assisting the client. Okay, for assisting clients, it will be like customer service, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you ask another classmate, please. Okay. Um, uh, Karen, what was what was the last training you attend about? Karen, it was about safety measures at work. All right, very good. Safety measurements. Uh, it means um, all the um, safety wear, uh, houseware, tools, yes, or yes. procedures. Or procedures. Uh, all right, all right, very good. Thank you, guys. Th thank you, thank you for participating in this activity. So now we are going to... Uh, uh, make a feedback, all right? We're going to make this feedback and we want to complete this statement, okay? Just to remember the structure. Just to remember the structure. Oops. One second. How often? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo me pongo en silencio y todos en grupo vamos a ir eh, llenando esta estas statements recordemos que puede ser negativo puede ser positivo o puede ser singular puede ser plural verdad cuál es la forma correcta si es was o si es where according to the subject all right va entrenémonos ahí solo para recordar right 
A ver, Emerson, tome la iniciativa ahí con sus compañeros. Muévanos. Vamos a ver. Ok. The figures is how were the meanings? Do you agree? To who was the boss here? Dear? When was the lunch time? Was. When was. For where were the helper in night in night? The personnel were well. disappointed for the manager decision. The personnel was. Where? Okay, Nelly, continue. The personnel is what? Is um, plural? Is many people in the personnel? Personal is it is a question all right aha uh -huh. we can say okay we have a collective noun right we have a collective noun here the personnel right the personnel was podría ser en un contexto okay pero en este context, contexto está bien where all right the personnel where okay como cada uno Okay, cada individuo dentro del grupo, ¿ok? También depende en el contexto en que ustedes lo vayan a eh, usar, ¿verdad? Si se refieren a cada persona, ok, pero eso está definido en lo que están platicando, ¿sí? Puede ser que solo digamos eso, the personal, right, was, and that's it, right? Pero usualmente los collective nouns sí llevan, por ejemplo, the police, the people, the personnel, right? Aunque the staff sí sería was, ¿ok? Ese sí sería was, ¿ya? Yeah? All right. Martín, uh -huh. this was too. What number? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, um, un example. Uh -huh. uh, the teams. Oh, no, that's singular. It was. That's singular. singular. Yes, okay. it was. Mm -hmm. The was. team was. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So we have some um, subjects that we have to make sure at the time that we're using them, right? Uh, in this case, personnel, yes, you can use both, even though it sounds better where, right? Depending on the context. All right, let's read them. Leamos, right? Let's read them. Norma, number one. How were the meeting? meetings? Meetings. Mm -hmm. How were the meetings? Uh -huh. Va, vamos How? a hacer un recuerdo. Vamos a hacer un recuerdo. Miren, aquí tenemos varios the. Miren, the o el fin, dependiendo. ¿Cuándo lo vamos a pronunciar como the? A ver. 
¿Cuándo lo vamos a pronunciar como da? ¿Alguien sabe? When the next word uh -huh. yes. became a uh, consonant. With a consonant, yes. Uh -huh. When the next uh -huh. word starts with a consonant, it's going to sound like the meeting, right? The date, the place, the bus, Where's the that? lunch. Uh -huh. Ahora, uh -huh. si por ejemplo dijéramos, mm, a ver una con, con vowel. No tenemos ninguna con vowel aquí. No. Uh, pues a ver, podríamos decir, a ver, pongamos varias palabras solo para que lo recordemos, porque esto es important in pronunciation, all right? Uh, for example, aquí. Uh -huh. mm, let's say, uh... okay. Entonces, aquí diríamos the eggs. The, uh, uh -huh. the eraser. The eraser. The, the after purchase, okay? The after purchase process, the after purchase, whatever, right? Uh, we are using vowels, so we need the, okay? The eggs, the eraser, the after purchase. Okay, ahora, hay una cuestión con ese da y de una vez que les quede así para que no se les olvide, es que cuando, por ejemplo, vamos a decir que es la máxima cosa, ¿verdad? Es, uh, por ejemplo, fue la mejor reunión. It was the meeting, ¿ok? Ahí le ponemos el the como un énfasis, right? Emphasizing. Pero es cuando de veras uno habla así como muy emocionado acerca de algo que es lo máximo, right? Then it's the. Aunque vaya con una consonant. All right. Bye. Vamos entonces a leer. Thank you very much, Norma, for number one. Now, number two, please, Emerson. Who was the boss there? All right. Mauricio, number three. When was the lunch time? All right. Number four, please, um, Eduardo. Where were the health players in 1990? Al revés, 1990. Ajá, 1990. Ajá. Porque si no sería como en el 9019, vea. Entonces, no, tiene que ser 1990. A ver, Wendy, number five. The personal were disappointed for the manager decision. Thank decision. you very much. Decision. Shun. Uh -huh. Decision. Uh -huh. Okay. Number six, please, Luis Javier. Were you a quality control supervisor? All right. Number seven, Tatiana. Was he on time? Okay, number eight, Claudia. Uh, 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 were they close? Uh -huh. Can you repeat, please? Were they close? All right, uh -huh. thank you. Uh, Karen, please, number nine. It was a great training. Thank you. Okay, Sandra. Ah, she's just a listener tonight, right? Imelda, number 10. Imelda. Okay. A ver... Para arriba, vamos a ver. Mauricio, please, number 10. I was ready to leave. I was ready to leave, right? I was ready to leave. I was ready to leave. Yes. Bien. 
a manera de tip, hay que pronunciar bien la letra S, ¿ok? Hay que pronunciar bien la letra S. Nuestro acento salvadoreño a veces nos dificulta mucho la pronunciación, ¿verdad? De la letra S. Oh, there we have Irma. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, I'm going to call the roll right now, okay? I will call the roll. Please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you have to say present. Remember that it's our requirement from in support. All right. By the way, guys, wait, what date is it today? What date is, is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Today is Monday. Aha. Uh -huh. Monday. Aha. Uh -huh. The twentieth. Twentieth. Okay. A ver, les voy a volver a preguntar para que me la digan así completo. What's the day today? Today it is, is Monday, Monday, February the twentieth. Va, hoy la voy a volver a preguntar. No puede ser, no puede ser. No se me duerman. Vamos a ver. What's the day today? Today is Monday, February. Hey, it's Monday, February. 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 The 20th, right? The 20th. Okay. Thank you very much. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher, present. Okay. Cecilia Yasmin Mejibar Soto. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Ok, Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Daisy Elizabeth Racinos Álvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. I know. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay. Thank Present. you. Okay. Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. Present. Okay. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Here, Miss. Okay. Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Has she joined? Has she connected? Yes, she is. All right. I see Marina is there too, right? Marina Jansi Sandoval Bonilla. Present. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. Present. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arre Vázquez. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. I remember Sandra was there. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present miss. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Now we are going to continue, all right? Let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have a conversation on page 40. One second. 
No, it's 39. 39. All right, 39. Sorry. Esa la leímos el viernes. All right, so now we are going to practice it. Let me just share the screen. Here we are. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to... A ver, si ¿sí se recuerdan de la conversación, verdad? Do you remember? Let's yes, read it together, everyone, all right? It says, hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lena, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Zanini from Brazil. I love Miss Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. Okay. Now let's practice. Oscar, are you able to participate? Oscar Noé? Yes, yeah, sí, yo. Okay, please. Oscar and... One second. Luis Javier, please. Yes. Okay. okay. I'm ready. All right. You may start. Hey, Lorna. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Oh, great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were these speakers? Uh, let's see, Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years age. Ago. Ago. You are right. All right, people. So now let's look at the questions we have in this conversation. We have some questions, all right? And the first one, it says, did you attend the training last week? Did you attend the training last week? So it was scheduled, right? It was scheduled. So they knew there, there was going to be a, tri a training, right? So did you attend the training last week? Let's look at the structure. We use did as an auxiliary verb to ask a direct question when we want to ask about a past event, just as we do with the to be verb. Look, was it difficult, right? It goes at the beginning. Did goes at the beginning, but did is for any verb that is not the to be verb, right? Okay, vamos a ver entonces cómo es la estructura. A ver, ustedes en el chat ahorita me ponen cuál es la estructura de una pregunta directa. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál es la estructura? Which one is the structure of a direct question? Así, usando did. No, Emerson, check it.
All right, Luis Javier, auxiliary verb in this case is did, then the subject, mm -hmm, plus the verb in the base form, plus the complement, plus the question mark when we are writing, right? When we are writing, we have to add the question mark. Remember, did plus the subject plus the verb in the base form. So did makes the verb into past, all right? If we add did, then we know this is a past simple tense question, okay? It's referring to a past event, right? And how do we answer these questions? What is the answer for a question like this? Veamos cómo responden ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué tipo de respuesta hay para estas preguntas que son directas? Good, Wendy. Did she win at the, Olymp at the Olympics? All right, that's a very good example. That's a very good example. ¿Cómo respondemos ese tipo de preguntas? How do we answer these uh, kind of questions? Short, short answer? Yes, we give short answers. Yes, short answer, answers. It means a yes or a no, right? But we have to add the tense, I mean, the verb tense, right? For example, if it is affirmative, we are going to answer like this. Yes, I did. But if it is a negative answer, we are going to answer no, I no, yeah. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Didn't. Mm -hmm. And we had a period. Yes, no, I didn't. Imagine that Lorna didn't attend the training. So we will answer, or she will answer, did you attend the training last week? Oh, Lena, no, I didn't. All right? If, if she couldn't make it, right? So, no, I didn't. Let's remember we have the contraction there, okay? Esa es una contracción que se refiere a did not, ¿verdad? Ok, veamos entonces cómo respondemos las que son del to be verb, que también son preguntas directas y que las vamos a responder con yes and no, ¿ok? Vamos a ver cómo respondemos was it difficult? Was it difficult? ¿Cómo le responderíamos? Veamos la respuesta que dio Lorna. Uh -huh. Esta es una amplia, ¿verdad? Pero porque al principio le dijo, tell me everything about it, ¿verdad? Si no le hubiera dicho que, hey, contame todito a colores, yo quiero saber, ¿verdad? Algo comunicativa, la, la chica Lorna, ¿verdad? Pero... Si no le hubiera preguntado eso, Leina, perdón. Entonces, la responderíamos con yes or no, ¿ok? ¿Y cuáles serían las respuestas? Vamos a ver. Ayúdenme ahí. Was it difficult? Yes. I was. was it, it. It was. It was. Uh -huh. Porque si digo I was, era que yo fui difícil, ¿verdad? Pero no, estamos hablando del training. It was. Y si es negativo, no, nah, hombre, para no, nada no, difícil. No, it wasn't. ¿Hmm? It wasn't. No, it wasn't. There you go. Okay, we can answer a yes or a no answer. But we have to complete the answer with the uh, verb tense, right? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. All right. Now, vamos a ir a hacer unos ejercicios. All right. I will stop sharing. Este es usando el was, el y el were. Okay. Acordémonos que queremos llegar a hacer un mix entre las de did y las de was en una, en una conversación. 
ahí tenemos un ejemplo de cómo se da ese mix, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a poner por acá. Le voy a pasar un link. Y lo vamos a ir así. Este es de Was and Where. Questions, ¿ok? Yes, no questions. Quiere decir que son directas. ¿Para qué nos sirven las preguntas directas? ¿Alguien recuerda cuál es el uso? ¿Cuándo las tenemos que usar o las podemos usar? ¿Alguien recuerda cuándo usamos una pregunta directa? Vale, les voy a decir yo uno de los usos es confirmar la información que ya conocemos, ¿verdad? Confirmar, que solo queremos que nos digan sí o no, ¿verdad? El otro uso es como mantener la conversación abierta, ¿verdad? Como para sacar otra vez conversación. Ese es otro uso de una pregunta directa, ¿ok? Hay varios usos, pero ahorita es, uh, eh, es confirmando información, confirming. All right. Vamos a ver entonces. ¿Ya llegaron ahí a la agenda web? Bien, yeah, Miss. Ok. Okay, this is very easy, right? I know that this is a piece of cake for you. Esto es como así un dulcito, ¿verdad? Vale, vamos a ver. Number one. Number one. Vale, el que, el que quiere participar lee la pregunta y da la respuesta, ¿ok? First, I, yes, number one. Was I, was I the oldest? No, you wasn't. Wasn't or weren't? Weren't, sorry. All right, there you go. Mm -hmm. Number me two. Too. Excuse me? me okay, please, Tatian. Were you tired? Tired? Yes, I, tired? Tired? Yes, I was. Very good. Uh -huh. Next one, who wants to participate? Were they ready? Yes, they were. Excellent. Number four? Was that a deal? There. No, there. There. Mm -hmm. Was Sarah there? No, she wasn't. Okay, number five. Where are they from? Italy? No, they weren't. Okay. Next. Was your father, was your dad hungry? Yes, he was. Okay, and, and the job we could say, was your boss angry? <laughs> yeah, okay. Number seven. What is cool? Was no, it cold? It wasn't. All right, no, what it wasn't. Cold? No, it wasn't. Very good. Number eight. Was I sleeping? Yes, you were. Okay. Number nine. 
Con el chip Pues, Play. Ajá. Bueno. No, we. We, bueno. All right. Number 10. Was it a dream? Yes, it was. Very good. Number 11. Were you on the bus? No, I wasn't. Okay, number 12. Was there a fish? fish? Yes, there were. There? There. Yes, there were. If it is only one thing, Uh-huh. Yes, there was. Yes, correct, Tatiana. Mm -hmm. There was, because it's a beach, yeah. right? Okay. It's a okay. beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beach. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now please check and um, take a screenshot and send it through the WhatsApp group, all right? Oh, thank you, Louise. Good. Mm -hmm. This was easy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hundred mm percent. -hmm. Very good, Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Good, Mauricio. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we want to go back to the manual. All right. And we want to go to page 41, right? Page 41. Want to share it? Trying to. There we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to read this conversation and I just want you to notice the way they use the direct questions, all right? And also, how do they answer, okay? How they are answering these questions, all right. Hi, Eric, did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the eval evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. All right. Let's read it again. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes. I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? Or did you buy downtown? Yes. I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? 
that was nice as usual. Okay, now please. Is there any question so far about the conversation and the vocabulary in it? What is down, mm -hmm. downtown? Downtown is a la ciudad, al centro. Uh -huh. Como que aquí dijéramos, fuiste ahí al centro, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Miss pronunciation de sewing. Sewing, sewing, sewing machine. Uh -huh. Sí, a veces se siente como una U ahí, pero sí, en la rapidez. Pero es sewing machine, sewing, sewing. Sewing machine. Any other question? Are we okay so far? Alguien hizo pregunta, verdad? Yeah. Ajá, uh -huh. tell me, please. That's it, yeah. Tell me, Mauricio. ¿Qué significa spare? Spare, uh, como el repuesto. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we want to listen to some of you role, I mean, doing the role play here. All right, Jose Alexander, please, and Wendy. Role play the conversation. Okay. Hi, Hello. Eric. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes. I did, Robert, the price. What? Dollar. Primero decimos el número, ¿verdad? El número es 78. 78. 78. Dollars. Dollars. Entonces decimos 78 dólares. Uh -huh. Ok, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. I will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, yes, I went to get it by myself, Lopton. How was the customer service? It was nice use as usual. Right, thank you very much. Now we are going to the breakup rooms, okay? And we are going to complete this pair work below the conversation. What did Eric need to buy? What was the price of the product? How was the customer service at the store? Okay. Entendido que vamos a ir a hacer? Yes, miss. Okay. Díganme que haremos. What are we doing in the breakout rooms? Answer the questions. But first, um, practice the conversation. Thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. Esperemos no tener mucho problema hoy por los que obligadamente están de oyentes. All right. Vamos a ver. Let's try to get there. Please join your rooms.
How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. Hmm. Este, practicamos otra vez. No, está bien. Vale, empiezo. Vale. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, brother. The price was $78. Okay. I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice, as usual. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready for to tomorrow. Great. Do you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. Aquí sería... Hello, Luis. Hello, teacher. Por error me salí, pero aquí estoy de nuevo. Oh, okay. Okay. I will send you to room number 10. I think it is. Uh, let me see. Um, no. It is not. Okay, I'll send you to room one, all right? Number one, okay. Yes. You can practice with, with Jose Bernardo and Nelly. Okay. Okay. Page 41, Bernardo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Si ¿Sí le llegó la invitación, Luis. Espérame que este teléfono no quiera. Ah, abajo donde dice el breakout room, ahí tiene que haber un numerito rojo. All right. Sí. Ok. Hello.
हेलो हेलो I'm waiting for everybody. Okay. Yes, we are waiting for everybody to join back to the main session. All right, now let's answer the questions, okay? What did Eric need to buy? What did Eric need to buy? I need to buy this pair, pair for me. Mm -hmm. Va, armemos una oración completa en este caso. Hay que ver la diferencia entre las preguntas, ¿ok? Let's look at the difference. Esta pregunta es de información. Esta ya no es una pregunta directa. Entonces, esta la vamos a contestar con una oración completa. Subject, verb, and complement. And the verb is in the past tense, all right? So, vamos a ver. Um, number one says, what did Eric... He did, he did buy the spare part for the sewing machine. Okay, let's try to structure these in a um, grammatically correct way, all right? Let's start by the subject. What's the subject in the answer? He. Or Eric. Mm -hmm. A ver. Eric. Correct. Mm -hmm. Eric. Eric puede ser he también, ¿verdad? Ok. Mm -hmm. Eric. A ver. Ahora, el verbo. The verb mm -hmm. in the simple past tense. Mm -hmm. Needs or past tense? Yeah. Uh -huh. Veamos cómo dice la pregunta. What did Eric need to buy? Eric needed, miren, Eric needed to buy uh -huh, a a ver, ayúdenme pues a spare car for the sewing machine. For the sewing machine, yes. Okay. Eric needed to buy a spare part for the sewing machine. All right. Vamos a ver la siguiente. What was the price of the product? Mm -hmm. The price was 78. Thank you. 78K, bitcoins, okay. colones, okay. all right, dollars. Very good. Siempre completemos porque hay diferentes monedas, ¿verdad? En circulación. So the price was $78. All right. Number three. How was the customer service at the store? It was nice. It was nice as usual. Correct. It was as usual. All right. There you go. Veamos, estas son preguntas de información. Miren, utilizamos WH 
words, ¿verdad? Miren, what, what, and how, ¿ok? Y si vemos, para poder pedir información, necesito hacer tanto en pasado simple con cualquier verbo, también en pasado simple con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Son dos estructuras diferentes que usamos continuamente y las usamos en general mixed, las usamos juntas, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí tenemos la forma de contestar una pregunta de información. Y en la conversación habíamos visto las respuestas cortas. Short answer, answers or yes, no answers. All right. I'm going to stop sharing. Les voy a dar un PDF. All right. De pasarlo por aquí. Este PDF es para que practiquemos un poquito y diferenciemos el y diferenciemos cuándo voy a usar did y cuándo voy a usar el verb to be, was or where. Ok, vamos a ver. Hay una serie de statements, son questions. Estas questions requieren una respuesta, a short answer. Ahí ustedes van a ver cuál respuesta van a dar, ¿ok? No la voy a mostrar acá, así que abran ahí el PDF que voy a enviar, ¿ok? No se va. Vamos a ver. No está pesado esto. Oh, okay. Va, ahora sí se fue. Ahí está. Sección. I'm sorry, Mauricio. ¿Cuál sección es? Eh? ¿A dónde lo mandó? Eh? Ah, aquí en el chat de Zoom. Ah. A ver si lo podemos enviar al de WhatsApp para los que no puedan verlo desde acá. PDF, sí. Okay. 
Let's look at the examples, all right? One and two are examples. So number one says, did Sam fly to Tokyo last month? Yes, he did, okay? Yes, he did. And number two, it says, were they late for their class? No, they weren't. ¿Dónde está el was y el were? Vamos a contestar con was o con were. Y dependiendo si le preguntan a you, usted contesta con I, ¿verdad? You were or were you and then I was, remember. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Let me know when you finish, all right?
How's it going? Teacher, I have problem with my internet. Oh, really? Um, I'm sorry. Let me check who is it. Uh, can you repeat? I'm sorry. I know you have trouble with your internet, but I need to know who was the one telling. Uh, era Alexander? I think it was Vladimir, teacher. Vladimir, oh, okay. Thank you, uh, Bernardo. Pero si se nos desconectó del todo, ¿verdad? Okay, let's check it out, okay? Let's check this out. Let's start by the number three, number three. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Number four? Did Mr. Smith go to the work this morning? Yeah, he did. Very good. Number five. Was it hot yesterday? Yes, it was. Very good. Number six. Were they at home yesterday? No, they weren't. Right. Number seven. Did. Number seven. Aha, uh Norma. -huh. No, it didn't. Okay, leave la pregunta. Read the question. No, oh, perdón, pero voy a buscar que no, no la tenía aquí a la, a la mano ahorita. Oh, ok. Estoy las respuestas. Ah, ok. Number seven. Number seven. Did the dog buy to... Casi no veo. Did the dog buy... Buy you. Buy you. Uh -huh. Did the dog buy you? No. no. It didn't. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Was the coffee? Was the coffee hot? No, it didn't. All right. That is why you didn't drink it, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Por eso no se lo tomó. Vamos a ver. Number nine. Did you watch your TV last night? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. Uh, yes, I? Yes, I did. All right, yes, I did. Uh-huh. Number 10. Were they busy? Busy. Were they busy? Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. Very good. Number 11. Were the exams difficult? No, they weren't. Very good. 
Okay, number, it was difficult on 11, number 12. What's the movie book? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number 13. Did she find a better job? Yes, she did. Nice. Number 14. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was your classmate at delivery? Yes. She was. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you put said he or she, it's okay depending on the person, right? Yeah. At the library. 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 Yes. Okay. Number 15. <clears throat> Did the train arrive arrive on on time? Hmm? No, I didn't. No, eat the train, no. right? Mm -hmm. The train said yeah, eat. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, Tatiana, yeah. very good. Number sixteen. Did you remember to buy eggs? No, I didn't. You remember to buy No, I did Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Mauricio. Number 17. Were you tired after your long flight? Oh, flight. 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 No, I wasn't. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number 18. Were the children happy? Yes, they were. Nice. Number 19. Did Mr. Johnson buy a new car yesterday? Yes, he did. Very good. And number 20. Was the book expensive? No, I wasn't. Eat the book. Eat. Uh -huh. Eat. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> es que cuando es una cosa hay que decir it, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque si no, yo no, no, no fui cara, o sea, yo, ¿verdad? No, oh my goodness. All right, very good, Tatiana, very good. Well done. All right, people, now it's time to call the roll again. So please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you will say present. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Se volvió a conectar, no, ¿verdad? Pero, ok. Pues, Cecilia Yasmín Mendíbar Soto. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Present. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Stacy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Miss Imelda. Okay. Uh, Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. Thank you, Irma. Eh, José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. 
Present teacher. Ok, Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marina Yancy Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Vázquez. Velázquez, present. Oh, thank you, and I'm sorry. Ok, ya le cambié el apellido. Vamos a ver, Velázquez, good. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. All right. Norma Patricia Vidal Vázquez. Good night, you too. Ok. And Norma Patricia Viuda de Arre Vázquez. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present me. Bueno, ya ve que a usted, a usted se le trababa el it y el I, a mí su nombre, mire, Tania le estaba poniendo ya. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. All right. People, the homework for today, number 16, is about unscrambling the sentences or the statements, right? Those are questions. Es de ordenar las preguntas, ¿ok? Así que de una vez dejen la hecha la tarea número 16, ¿verdad? Para que ya vayan descansando de eso y de una vez hagan la 17 y la 18 y la 19 y la 20 y hagan el examen, ¿ok? Ahí trabajen a lo que ustedes vayan avanzando es bueno, ¿ok? Bien, no se detengan porque no queremos llegar al día final diciendo, ay, teacher, es que se me fue el internet, ya no lo pude terminar. No, es que el cargador, teacher, ay, la computadora se me, se me apagó y ya no pude, o qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Se fue la luz, teacher, en toda la colonia. Se fue el transformador. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor, vamos todos. No excuses, no excuses. All right, guys. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Do your homework. And today's turn is for Marina, right? Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Night, good night. Night. Good night. Night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Oh. I know you are tired. Okay, Marina, tell me, how can I assist you tonight? Is there any question that I can help you with? Yes. Tell me. Uh for example, I don't understand when I use what or where. Okay. Was and where is the past of the verb be. Okay. Was and where is the form for the past of the verb be. So allow me to go to the presentation on this page. One second. One second. Find it up. Moment, I will share the screen. Okay, we are using the past of the be verb when we refer to past events and we want to describe them. Cuando los queremos describir, ¿verdad? 
cosas que queremos describir. When we want to use the verb ser o estar in the past tense, then we use the past of be. Para el pronombre I, he, she, and it, for those pronouns, we use was. Okay? We use was. Esa es la forma para esos pronombres. I, he, she, it. Okay? Luego, para los pronombres you, we, and they, usamos la forma que es were. Aquí es yo era o yo estaba. Él era o él estaba. ¿Verdad? Ella era o ella estaba. Eso era o eso estaba. A ver, aquí sería para los dos, para usted y para ustedes, ¿verdad? Usted en singular y ustedes en plural. Entonces diríamos usted está, eh, perdón, era o estaba. ¿Okay? Nosotros, we, éramos o estábamos. We were. They were. Ellos eran o ellos estaban. Y luego pues tenemos las formas negativas. The negative forms. ¿Ok? Esta es la contracción cuando le agregamos la partícula not y usamos la contracción para sonar más fluido, ¿verdad? Para hablar más rápido, digamos. Esta es la manera coloquial, la manera forma, eh, perdón, la manera más común de utilizar la forma negativa del verbo to be. I wasn't a student, I wasn't there, yo no estaba ahí, yo no era un estudiante, ¿ok? Uh, I wasn't uh, your coworker, right? Yo no era tu eh, compañero de trabajo, ¿ya? Yeah? Entonces, ahí es donde vamos a usar el was, es una acción pasada, ¿verdad? I wasn't on the training, yo no estaba en el eh, entrenamiento, ¿verdad? I wasn't on your list, yo no estaba en tu lista. ¿Ok? Y lo mismo para todos los pronombres, ¿verdad? O los sujetos que querramos nosotros eh, expresar algo de ellos, ¿verdad? Así usamos el was y el were. Eh, sí. Aparte de esto, ¿hay alguna pregunta? Sí, la otra es, ¿cómo diferenciar cuando es una respuesta corta y cuando es una respuesta con el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento? Correcto. El día de hoy estuvimos estudiando las preguntas directas. Las preguntas directas son las que vamos a contestar con respuestas cortas. La pregunta directa siempre va a iniciar sin WH, ninguna palabra con WH, sino que solamente con el auxiliary verb, ¿verdad? Ahí puede ser que empiece con was, con where o con did. Ahí Vamos a usar yes or no question, ¿verdad? Ahí veíamos algunas, a ver, yo creo que por acá tenemos algunas. Que con was, con where, o con did. Ok, aquí por acá Eso creo que tenemos. Va, mire acá, hay unos ejemplos en los que vamos a contestar con sí o no. Aquí, mire, verb being in the past, yes, no questions. ¿Cuándo vamos a contestar sí o no? Cuando el auxiliar sea directo. Así como ya estabas tarde para el trabajo ahora en la mañana, ¿verdad? O llegaste tarde, entonces ahí vamos a decir, sí, fíjate, o no, fíjate, llegué a tiempo. O sea, en ese momento es que vamos a usar el sí y el no, ¿verdad? Ahora, el, ya el, el, la, la respuesta completa, un sujeto, verbo y complemento, lo vamos a estudiar mañana siempre, pero es cuando es una pregunta de información. ¿Ok? Como las que vimos Esta ahora. Acá. Sí o no. Estas, estas que están acá son sí o no. Mire, aquí dice, verb be in the past, yes, no questions. No sé si las puede visualizar en su pantalla. Sí, sí, sí. Estoy ok. Estoy Entonces, bien. veamos la forma. La estructura es where al principio, mire. Was al principio. ¿Verdad? No hay nada antes de ello, ¿ve? ¿eh? No hay nada más. Directo, por eso se llaman preguntas directas, ¿ok? Porque no hay WH ahí, ¿ok? Y las otras, como las que vimos el día de hoy, 
son con did. Vamos a ir al manual. Okay. Aquí en la conversación teníamos algo. Ok. Mire, la primera que está acá. Y you buy the spare part for the sewing machine. Y mire la respuesta. Yes, I did. Ok. Yes, I did. Y menciona el nombre, ¿verdad? Para mantener el calor de la conversación amable, ¿verdad? La temperatura amable de la conversación. Yes, I did, Robert. ¿Ok? Así como dirigiéndome a la persona amablemente, ¿verdad? Entonces, did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. Es una respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Aquí él da una aclaración, pero en el momento no es necesaria porque le pudieron haber preguntado, what was the price or how, did it, uh, how much did it cost, ¿verdad? How much was it? O sea, ahí pudieron, pudo haber otra pregunta, pero si se fija, empieza con did. La pregunta que yo voy a contestar Ajá. con una respuesta de sí o de no, ¿verdad? Y contesto con el auxiliar que me han preguntado. Ahí no hay pierde. Si, le, si usted oye que le preguntan con did, entonces usted responde sí o no con did, ¿verdad? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Pero si usted oye que le preguntan con was o con where, entonces usted tiene que oír el sujeto, ¿verdad? No, she wasn't. No, I wasn't. O, yes, she was. O, no, I wasn't. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así okay. es como se diferencian. El did se usa para los verbos que no son el to be. ¿Ok? El to be es el solito. Mire, el solito tiene su propia forma. ¿Verdad? Entonces, cuando es did, es con cualquier otro verbo. Aquí no vamos a meter el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Aquí cualquier otro verbo. En este caso es buy, mire, el verbo que están usando, ¿eh? Buy, comprar, ¿verdad? Uh, por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar a usted, did you practice, uh, I don't know, did you practice yesterday? ¿Ok? Refiriéndonos a inglés, ¿verdad? Did you practice English yesterday? Ok, usted responde, okay. ajá, yes, I did. ¿Ah? O si no pudo, va a decir, no, I didn't. Ok, entonces le vuelvo a preguntar, did you practice English yesterday? No, I didn't. All right, ahora yo le puedo hacer una pregunta. Mm, did you go to the park yesterday? No, I didn't. All right. Uh, did you buy special food yesterday? Yes, I did. All right. So that's the way to answer the questions with did. Ahora, le puedo hacer preguntas con was y con where. For example, were you at the park yesterday? ¿Estabas en el parque ayer? Were you at the park no, yesterday? No. No, I wasn't. Very good. Hmm? Oh, por ejemplo, uh, were you with your with your family at home yesterday? No, I wasn't. All right. I was alone, right? So, yeah, no, I wasn't. Okay. So, that's the way to use the yes, no questions and to give the yes, no answers. Okay? Is there, okay. Está, si se comprende o sí, hay alguna sí. otra pregunta? Totalmente. Uh, mejor. Es que, okay. ay, me cuesta la clase. Sí, yo sé. Yo sé que, aparte que estamos ya a esta hora, ya bastante cansados nuestra mente, ¿verdad? De todo el día de trabajo. Pero es necesario que en sus tiempos libres, mire, así sin estrés, ¿verdad? Usted se meta a la plataforma, participe en las discusiones o haga las tareas, adelántese un poquito. Puede ser que no le salga bien a la primera, entonces después de la clase de ese tema, usted ya la completa correctamente, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos ya va como eh, registrando en el cerebro qué es lo que va a tratar la clase, ¿verdad? 
o si no también ver en el manual, porque en el manual hay ejercicios para que usted haga, hay links para que usted se meta a escuchar videos o audios o hay unos links de ejercicios online que usted puede hacer así sin estrés, ¿verdad? Jugando, jugando, usted lo va a lograr. ¿Ok, Marina? Ok. All Muchas right. Gracias, My pleasure. My pleasure. All right, then. Go to do your homework. Homework number, number 16 tonight, all right? Perdón. Go to do your homework tonight. Haga su tarea ahora. Ah, okay. okay <laughs> Number 16, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Have a very good night, Marina. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.